Pun, we're now on our next video in the specific issues in science, technology, and society. And in this video, we're going to talk more about the information age. Um, actually, we're going to dig deeper about the the history, <laughs> okay, from primitive times up until um the near 2000s. Okay, so this is the timeline for the or of the information age. So we're going to start in 3000 BC. Okay, um, all the way going to 2000, nearly 2000. So in 3000 BC, what is the first part of the information age? Um, we can remember in 3000 BC, the Sumerian writings, this, or the Sumerian writing system using pictograph is um, used to represent words. Around 29,000 BC, the beginnings of Egyptian hieroglyphic writings started. In 1300 BC, um, tortoise shell and oracle bone writing were used. Okay, um, for the for writing, that's thirteen thousand BC, thirteen hundred BC. Sorry, this is twenty nine hundred BC. Um, in five hundred BC, the papyrus roll was used in Egypt. Okay, um, around two hundred twenty BC, Chinese small seal writing was developed by, um, by Chinese people. <laughs> okay, um, they used that, and around one hundred eighty, this is the first book, um, called the Parchment Codex was created. A codex, again, is, is an essential ancient book. So it's consisting of one or more queer choirs of sheets of papyrus or parchment folded together to form a group of leaves or pages. So that's a book or parch or a codex. In 105 AD, um, again, since it's Anno Domini right now, so we're increasing. Um, notice in the BC and before Christ, we are um, decreasing. Here in AD, in Anno Domini, we're increasing, rather. We're increasing. So Around 105 AD, um, the woodblock print, printing and paper was invented by the Chinese. So that's around 105 AD. In 1455, that's a big leap. Okay, but let's go to the to the highlights. Around 1455, Johann Gutenberg invented the printing press. You know, the, the first known printing press is the Gutenberg, um, or rather the, the first book, okay, is the Gutenberg Bible because it was where the first printing press, or Johann is the inventor of the first printing press using movable metal type. In 1755, um, what we have is that Samuel Johnson's dictionary um, standardized English spelling. Okay, so that's a big leap um, in when it comes to spelling in English or uh, as, as far as words are concerned in English. Um, moving on, let's go to 1802. In 1802, the Library of Congress was established um, right then and there, 1802. Um, also, in the same year, invention of the carbon arc lamp was 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 or happened rather. 1824, around um, 22 years, research on persistence of vision pub was published. 1830, um, the first viable design for a digital computer was developed. Also, in the same year, um, our Augusta Lady Byron writes the world's first computer program. So. Um, Lady Byron is the one um, credited for that. Um, in 1837, invention of the telegraph in Great Britain and the United States. So telegraph was, was invented. 1861, um, we have motion pictures here, okay, already. Motion pictures were projected on a screen. Okay, so again, motion pictures are projected on a screen. 1876, the Dewey Decimal System was introduced. For in our libraries. That's 1876. 1876. A year after, 1877, the Edward Muybridge demonstrated high-speed photography. Okay, Edward, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, Edward Muybridge demonstrated um, the high-speed photography. That's a year after the Dewey Decimal System. 1899, um, before 1900s, the first magnetic recordings were released. And by three years after, 1902, the motion picture special effects were used uh, as early as 1902. Okay, so we have special effects already on motion pictures. Okay, moving on. Um, we're now in the 20th century, 1906. 1906, Lee DeForest invented the electronic amplifying tube, or we call that a triode. 1923, um, television camera tube was invented by Vyorkin. Okay, V. Zivorkin. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly. Zivorkin. Um, 1926, 
three years after, the first practical sound movie was produced. The first practical sound movie was produced. 1939, regularly scheduled television broadcasting began in the U.S. So um, this was a time when the TV was still fresh and there are already broadcasting, okay, as early as 1939, before 1940. So the 1940s, um, beginnings of information science as a discipline. Okay, so we have, um, actually we have courses like Bachelor of Science in Infor Information Systems, Information Science. So because it's, an, it's a separate dis discipline. Okay, it began in 1940s, in the 1940s. 1945, um, at the end of the World War II, um, Vannevar Bush foresaw the invention of hypertext. Okay, 1946, a year after, the Inayak computer was developed, the one of the earliest computer. It this is this has a, um, a a meaning. I forgot what's the meaning of this. This is an acronym actually. So it's the very first computer. Um, two years after, nineteen forty eight, um, the birth of the field of information theory was proposed by Claude E. Shannon. Okay, so this is the field of information in theory, um, part of um, the broad field of complex systems. Okay, so complex system, this is information theory. Um, the proponent, of course, is Claude E. Shannon. That's um, way back in 1948. 1957, um, the planar transistor was developed by Jean Hiorni, I or Jean Hiorni. I, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Um, a year after, 1958, the first integrated circuit was, um, was developed or was produced. Okay, furthermore, we're near the 2000s around 1960s um the library of congress developed lcmarc mark or machine readable code okay machine readable code so the mark lc mark um 1969 unix okay operating system it, it is an operating system um it was developed by that time which could handle multitasking okay um prior to or compared to the ones before um, two years after, 1971, um, the Intel, okay, until now we know this, Intel produced the first ever microchip, okay, Intel. Um, Windows, the Microsoft is, is, is tapping on Intel when it comes to the microchips, right? That's why we have Intel Core i3, Core i5, Core i7, right? Core i9, right? So a year after, 1972, um, optical laser disc was developed by Philips and MCA. Okay, first, um, or the optical laser disc by 1972. Two years after, MCA and Philips agreed on a standard video disc encoding format. Okay, so there's now a format on a video disc, and MCA and Philips was the one who designed that. Um, a year after, 1975, Altair Micro Computer Kit was released. This is um, considered as the first personal computer for the public. Okay, again, um, you can Im remember the Inayak as the is a computer, but that Inayak computer was very large. It needs a whole, um, a whole space or like a, a house. You need to rent a house or a room at least, okay, in order for you to have the computer. So, um, this Altair micro microcomputer kit was released. The first com personal computer, um, was used now for by the public. Um, in the near future, 1977, Radio Shack. Okay, introduced the first complete just two years after radio shack introduced the first complete personal computer okay um furthermore let's go um 1984 we're now here 1984 um the famous apple macintosh computer was introduced okay so it was way back 1984 where apple created their computer called macintosh right um mid 1980s um, artificial intelligence was separated now from information science. Um, before that, um, information science, one of the, bran the not branches, one of the topics or the content of information science is about the uh, AI or the artificial intelligence. But this time, artificial intelligence was separated as another discipline compared to information science. So this is a whole new discipline, a new field of study if you want to focus on artificial intelligence. So there is that, that major. 1987? Um, Hypercard was developed by Bill Atkinson, recipe box metaphor. Okay, so there's a metaphor by Bill Atkinson, um, though I don't know what is that. Um, maybe I'll, I'll feature that in another video. <laughs> okay, 1991, 
um, 450 complete works of literature is now can now be fitted or can now be fit okay sorry on one cd room cd room okay it was released okay it was released in 1991 and january 1997 i think this is the last one um rca rsa sorry rsa this is this is these are last names i forgot the last names but these are last names of three people who invented them encryption and network security of software internet security code cracked for a 48-bit number so actually we will um the timeline that i got from my content was only until here but certainly certainly uh, indeed there has been a lot a lot more um developments as the years after 1997 has passed okay we're now in 2021 or at least um the year i created this video there says there's been a lot of 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 changes from this apple macintosh so we have now the, the laptops we have now the cell phones the smartphones we have the smart tvs we have imagine we can charge wirelessly right so we don't e we don't need a lot of wires to connect to the internet we have wi-fi and yeah there's a lot there's a lot more um developments ever since so um that's it for the very brief um and short um, timeline for the information age um surely um there is more that is that is uh about the history of of, of the information age so um, next up, we will be talking about more about the, uh, the topic. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. I hope that you would like and subscribe. Okay, thank you very much.